Are there lots of thrills and chills in the new Frozen 2 trailer? Wait, that was a really bad pun. Far away, as north as we can go, once stood an enchanted forest. Honestly, my heart is pumping like crazy. Yes, it was a magical place, but something went wrong. Since then, no one can get in or out. Kind of looks like something out of Brave. That was epic. I don't know, but the stone's not saying it's ripping off, but it's just, I don't know. I do it's gonna you. give me those vibes. You'll always have me. Still loving that weird, choir music. She seems like Elsa. There's this voice. Voice? What does that mean? She's hearing things. Power's going out. Wind's going crazy. What's going on? Looks like a hurricane. The kingdom is not safe. No shit. <laughs> Find who is calling to you. They may have answers. I'm going with you. Anna? No. Excuse me, I climbed the North Mountain, survived a frozen so... and saved you from my ex-boyfriend, so, you know. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. That's normal. So, I mean, like they said in the previous trailers, you know, they were saying that one of the questions they would answer is why, where did Elsa get her powers? Steps. Elsa, get out of there! You can't just follow me into fire. Then don't run into fire. Still butting heads. So we do get, you know, a sort of look at some of the people that they're going to meet. Might be a big hint there. She might lose herself to through magic. What is that? A giant troll? Quick question. Is the whole putting us in mortal danger gonna be a regular thing? I'm sure a lot of Olaf haters are gonna get their kicks <laughs> watching that part where he's just screaming. So, okay, so, yeah, that's act. that was actually a pretty insightful trailer. I don't know why, what I was thinking. I was expecting, I was honestly expecting, like, a much, like, darker trailer. Like, I was, like, you know, ever since, um... You know, Frozen 2 was, you know, announced. It's like, okay, they're going to make a sequel to Frozen. Very, very successful movie. And hey, I'm one of those people that's been defending Frozen. By the way, hey, hey, thanks for checking out this video. No, this is Blood Moon Bobby here. And yes, I'm using a new trailer format where instead of having that um, background that I designed, I basically decided to go over to the style where I just, you know, have myself basically on webcam and I have the trailer playing in a corner up there so basically you could see more of my face and if this style goes well and it doesn't overwhelm my computer i'm going to apply to more of my a live stream so yeah so it's all in good fun fun so so yeah i mean i'm just trying to get over for myself like i was honestly so like like freaked out over this trailer that I'm trying to find the right uh, words to say. But it's mainly because, you know, ever since we saw the very first trailer for Frozen 2, we kind of got this idea that it's going to be a darker story, you know, which is kind of, it, it was surprising to me on one level, because on one hand, you know, the first Frozen movie, it definitely had its thrills, but, you know, it, for the most part, it was a very lighthearted it, sort of movie. So to see where they go in this, like, much more like darker or direction is just like whoa it's a breath of fresh air here don't get me wrong because I, because you know i think um people watching this know that a lot of people are, like frozen has honestly like disney has just exploited that movie so much i didn't get hit by this but it kind of became one of those movies that got so like hyped up that people just kind of got sick sick of it and especially after Olaf's Frozen Adventure came out, I would say that was when people were like, uh, duh, we know, you know, okay, so that's Frozen, we know what to expect. So putting a spin on this, and in one of the previous trailers, they said that they were going to go into, even if you go to the description of 
the trailer that we just got done watching, it even says, I think it, it looks like a very similar description to the previous trailer. It even asks, you know, why was um, Elsa born with magical powers? And I do like how they're going to tackle that. I mean, the trailer, you know, basically says, you know, uh oh, some something's going on wrong with Arendelle. And it doesn't just look like, um, it doesn't just look like some kind of crazy hurricane of anything. You know, in the beginning we basically saw, oh no, the looks like the lights have been turned out and there's a whole bunch of leaves blowing, blowing around and wrecking Arendelle and the people have to escape. So, so it sounds like, you know, it's going to go oh, even deeper into, I don't know if I would say it's like Elsa's origins, but this idea that, you know, there's even more details about her that we do not know. And hopefully, and I think in some way it, it is going to be connected to this danger. Now, I'm not really sure if the people that we saw in this trailer... The kingdom is not... Uh, I'll turn off the audio so, you know, we don't get the, you know, our voices puzzled around. I know that, um, yeah, we see a whole bunch of people that might supposedly give answers. I'm not really sure if that they're going to answer the question of did you know did, were they the ones that Elsa gave powers? I honestly wouldn't be surprised if those. Uh, where's where's a scene? This is just a really crazy prediction. And but since Frozen, the first Frozen was kind of a twisty, the movie. Yeah, I'm kind of wondering if what if it turns out that. Oh, I just noticed that the mouse is joining us in this recording session. What if it turns out that these the troll characters may have something to do? Like maybe they gave Elsa her powers because you know someday we sus we we suspect that you know something crazy is going to you know, happen. Which I think that could be debated because because they were this character in particular was also the one who was like, oh, if, you know, Elsa's powers get out of hand, you know, she could put Anna in danger. And that was why in the first Frozen, they basically wiped Anna's memory of, the memory that she knows that Elsa has powers. So maybe it's not that. I'm just trying to sort of pinpoint what could be the possibilities. Because the people in that we see in this trailer, like these characters here. I know that this, I think this is the one that was uh, introduced at D23. They look, they kind of look more just look like, you know, the neighbors of Arendelle. Maybe they live in a nearby kingdom or that sort of thing. So I'm just like, I don't think those are the characters that gave Elsa the powers unless they went to some other characters to, you know, see, you know, hey, can you bestow magic powers on like if if like if it happened before, let's say Elsa was born, they're like, "Hey, can you bestow magical powers on this um this 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 princess?" I know Elsa became a queen, but you know this princess that's about to be born, which I don't really know. At the very least, they seem like allies, and you know you see um Elsa. Elsa I'm guessing you know she's working on her magical powers. Follow me into fire. Then don't run into fire. See a tornado. Is very alluring. Without you, she may lose herself to it. It's another hint that maybe um, <clears throat> um, Anna has to be warned that Elsa shouldn't, you know, over rely on her powers and that sort of a thing. Protect Arendelle at all costs. Yeah, because you yeah you just heard the, the character said you know we must protect Arendelle at all all costs and then at the very like towards the not the absolute end but we saw um where is yeah that that it looks like you know we got a big ass troll and I'm not sure the background doesn't I'm wondering if the if that troll is gonna have like its own army so it's just like okay it's getting real so i think you know it's a sign of like you know who we can expect the villains to be in frozen 2 but you know as for you know can we guess how elsa got her powers um i guess we'll you know have to see yeah i mean the description i'll put it up again but basically if you saw the last trailer for frozen 2 it's very similar to that so 
but at the same time, I know that this is a trailer, so obviously, you know, they're not going to give, you know, all that, that away. Thankfully, you know, that's the kind of stuff, you know, I, you know, I do think that the trailer is, it is serving that purpose of it's getting you to ask those questions in terms of, even though the, the description, it's kind of sort of posing the question of how the heck did Elsa get her powers? That's just it. You know, it's just sort of, you know, it's sort of, sort of supposed to, you know, build you up and ask, you know, the question and, you know, try to get you to guess. And hopefully the answer will be a surprise and hopefully there will be even more surprises and songs. Hoping for some really good songs coming in Frozen 2 as well. Oh, so, yeah, I'm just really curious to see. I am, like, I'm not saying I want it to be super spoilery because I am glad that um I didn't see the... Tr didn't see too many of the trailers for Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse before I actually saw the movie. That was a really great movie, by the way, into the Spider-Verse. So I do like, you know, how it's it's giving you some more details on some more of the characters that you're going to see. I know that a few scenes here, a few scenes, some of the characters were... Um, they came they were sort of announced at d23 um this is the first time that i've gotten to see them you know in a you know publicly seen trailer or and yeah definitely looks like a really exciting movie i am kind of hoping that frozen 2 isn't going to be like an overly dark movie i'm not sure why like you know and when it comes to disney they're usually be pretty good with you know balancing tone but i just hope they don't go like over the to top dark like yes i do want to see like, you know, I'm like, you know, I'm obviously a person who likes, you know, really dark, dark movies. I'm into, you know, watching movies like A Clockwork Orange and, and Taxi Driver, you know, although that's a completely, you know, different, you know, level. But at the same time, I do hope that Frozen 2 does remain, you know, a really fun movie. And yeah, I'm really, you know, really hope that, you know, they go in this direction. It looks like, you know, it's going to be a really exciting sequel. I am kind of curious to see if it's going to be as good as the first Frozen, because, you know, general logic is that sequels are usually not better than the first movie, although, you know, you can't, you definitely can name some examples of sequels that, you know, definitely top the first film in a respective franchise, so, I'm, yeah, I'm very curious to see if, as long as, you know, it's a, you know, good movie and it does have its surprises, as long as, as long, for me, as long as it's not, like, overly predictable, then, you know, you know, then I think it'll be a good movie. And I really hope so when the movie does come out on November 22nd in the States. So, all right. All right so that has been my trailer reaction slash discussion of Frozen 2. Let me know your thoughts down below. What do you think is going to happen in Frozen 2? Do you have any kind of predictions as far as where Elsa got her powers? Leave all those thoughts down below. Until next time, this has been Blood Moon Bobby, and thank you all for watching. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed this Blood Moon Bobby video. Like and share the video if you enjoyed it, and feel free to leave a comment, subscribe to my channel, and ring the bell to get notified when I release my latest videos. Follow me at Blood Moon Bobby on your favorite social media platforms to take part in polls, see my tech tips, and to hear about my video plans. Thanks for watching.